Ah, well, that was a good rest. I had a whole week break from this. Let's go back into it. Why not? All right. Wait, you saved, but is that a good idea? I did. Well, what could possibly go wrong? Oh, and loading the game somehow loads this cutscene. Okay. Oh. All right. Okay. This wasn't here when I last saved, but whatever. Almost seems too easy. Drop your weapon. Ow. Uh huh. I guess the end died. I guess this is the end for the end. Yeah. <laughs> That was such a cheap joke, that Jova, that I'm going to have to, you know, put you in the corner right now. A cheap joke for a cheap shot, since you were going at him from the back. I mean, he's dead anyway, so... Alright, um, I guess we'll report to headquarters, um... Major, I found the end. He's dead. What the hell happened? <laughs> Maybe it was from old age. Wow! Kick the bucket in the middle of a battle? Maybe... Well, Snake, the victory is yours. No, I don't think so. Well done, Snake. The victory's yours. His dying wish to fight me, but I disappointed him. Snake, listen to yourself. This is a mission. It's not a game. It's not a sport. Uh, uh, uh. The gold at Tokyo or something? <laughs> I guess you're right. Just focus on completing the mission. Yes, yeah, at least they can not turn to the camera. Yeah, besides, uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, hold on, guys, because hold on, guys, because uh, okay, and now we get the greatest death scene in the history of entertainment. <laughs> Don't you hate it when you're just minding your own business and you die? <laughs> I, um... I fucking love this game so much. <laughs> oh man, I, I, I cannot get enough of this imagine, game. <laughs> imagine, imagine, imagine his colleagues tried to report this to their superior, cool. uh, sir. Sir, the end has confronted the uh, Solid Snake in a battle. Oh, uh, see, this is why Big Boss is the best character because, like any cool character, he doesn't look at explosions. Go on, Joe. What you want to say? Yes, we're still in this one-way dream, Snake Eater. A Delta Dream, specifically. He didn't have shades to take off. Volume. Yes, everybody, at the time of this recording, uh, the PlayStation Showcase happened, and yes, Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater, the PS5, Xbox Series, and PC remake of this game is about to come out. So, but However, we're still going to continue this game because, I mean, the original is still a classic. So. And from what we apparently know, the remake is either just going to be a graphical overall. Yeah, the developers said recently that apparently they're going to stay faithful to the original design and story, so this is going to be mm, a Blue Point style remake where it's going to be very faithful. Okay, okay, okay. To be fair, we don't know all the details for certain seeing as how they are getting back the voice actors, which implies this and that. However, they did mention the reason that they decided to name it Delta. Apparently, the form Delta has to do with change or some <coughs> sort so no, they, they specifically mentioned their in the, their interview whatever they left so delta means technically change but but while still this while staying the same it's basically them being cheeky about basically saying what we said it's more graphical overall again yeah, uh, only time will tell if it's actually so not, does this uh, mean gone from what I understand, we're not going to have anything like the Metal Gear equivalent of the Dementors from the 7 remake. <laughs> I will say, well, I was that kind of... would feel like a Metal Gear plot, to be honest. I will say, Pedro, while I was definitely expecting you to show off, obviously, what happens when you do that, I was also thinking you were going to have another bit where you actually do show the actual play. Oh, well, okay, let me give the basic explanation for those who want to know. Uh, the basic gist of it is you have to, again, it's, think of like what we did with our boss fight of the fear, except in a bit, much bigger scale, where you have to try your best to use any possible tools you have, like the heat goggles, so you can detect his heat, his body heat. Uh, to try to find where he is. Basically, it's a very long battle that takes a long time. Um, it requires quite a bit of patience, uh, which is why the developers uh, put in that elf number. Okay, Shira, allow me to explain to you what the hell just happened. Basically, Shira, you know how the end is very old? 
Yes. If here's what happens, she right. If you save the game and wait a full week, or if you prefer, just go to your console's clock and move it up a week f uh, forward. Uh, the end will just die of old age. So there you go. If you don't want to face the end in a long, drawn-out sniper battle, you can just wait for him to die of old age in a week. <laughs> or, um, again, or, or earlier on, you could have sniped it. Again, well, we again have I mentioned yeah, that I... This is funnier, though. I, again, have I mentioned that I love this game? Yes, I did. Well, I'll say it again. <laughs> oh, again. Go on, to you. No, no, go on. I'll admit, I thought you were gonna show the actual fight, and you know, I mean, I knew I, I knew you were definitely gonna show this detail because it's too awesome a detail not to include. I am surprised that you didn't include the actual fight though, because the actual fight is pretty the awesome against the end. Still, the Mediterranean region originally, but nowadays they're found all over the world. I mean, they kind of reproduce faster. Times as a source of, food, of course, they'd find so a way to spread their ranks across the world. The are known to eat their own excrement. You. Their own. That's right. A lot of animals do. Yeah. Eats fiber, the fibers from Even dogs. Its appendix, or yeah, it's more of a case of we need to be dressed it twice. So. The, vitamins. the rabbit excretes the substance and then eats it again to absorb the nutrients. That's a neat trick. Again, evolution, no, evolution no, went in such a way that instead of actually giving him a proper uh, digestive apparatus, so they need to eat to their shit yeah. to digest twice. Mm -hmm. Doesn't help that rabbits poop like pez dispensers. I'm sure God had a very specific plan for them in that mind. Mm -hmm. Oh God, the koala. You know what's interesting regarding the, the recent news? Um, even though Kojima is not uh, involved in the remake, as confirmed recently by Konami, uh, apparently Konami and Kojima seems to, seem to have buried the hatchet because both of them are following each other on Twitter. Oh, wow, that that is a massive improvement. I mean, granted, unless he's just following them to keep tabs, but okay, no, no, no. Um, I guess it's best to assume that they're in better remember, shape Conan, they following. Remember, this is a big thing from 2015. Remember, back in 2015, they were literally trying their hardest to not even acknowledge his existence. Basically, but, Shirai... Uh, go on. Go on. Okay. Um, basically, Shiro, you know how every single one of these games has a Hideo Kojima game at the top? Yeah, when, yeah. When, when they had the breakup, every single Hideo Kojima game tag from Metal Gear Solid Five was removed before release, basically. They, 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 they still credit him. They still credit him as the, writer, as the lead writer and director in the game itself, but, but his name was I mean, entirely... You didn't have to. There's yeah. legal shit. Yeah. Uh, but, they, but they removed his name from every possible thing, and of course there was that whole thing where he wasn't allowed to go, to go into the game awards to accept the, uh, the awards for the, his own fucking game. But, for, you know, uh, but it seems like, Shiro, that uh, the Konami of today is apparently a very different Konami, because now apparently they're on good terms, uh, it seems. Go on. Go on, Shiro. I wonder how many of the people... Like, uh, about what you just said, I wonder how many of the people are different there now, like they went yeah. the same... Most likely. Because yeah. sure. it has been several years by this point. Yeah. What, yeah. Okay. what Pedro mentioned about the, the erasure of Kojima's name is a symptom of a bigger cause where a lot of companies and teams literally erase uh, creators, not creators' names or, you know, alter them in a way in order potentially to highlight Good. another You're creator potentially. Yeah. Or, um, it also tends to be a Japanese pride thing too, because remember the same thing happened with Swery. Remember, like, uh, a Swery was ousted out of Access Games very un 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 in a very unsubordinate way because he was getting his name was getting much more popular than the actual company's Wait, name. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold everything! Yeah, we're getting there. Yeah, yeah. It's the moment. Yes, here we go. Letters. Actually, that's a step ladder. A step ladder. Just a Whatever, it's a ladder. Any ladder, step ladder, ladder, ladder smatter. You you heard those segments where you need to walk slowly. Here's one where you need to climb the stair for eternity. To what end? To what purpose? And to, and for some reason the game's theme starts in the meantime. Paramedics, well, he's stop singing. I'm trying to concentrate. I mean, okay, I I need to wonder. It is <laughs> cool just actually. Put on his iPod. It is cool, complimentary, but I don't know much about uh, the significance in placing it here. It's like we're kind of halfway through the game anyway, and there's no real significance. I get the feeling the idea there is to for okay. you to just soak up in the moment, you know, and uh, and allows you to. 
Again, the truth of the matter is that this is a very iconic moment that people still love to this no, no, day, no, I so... I understand, Pedro. What I wonder is why specifically the main theme of the game and not, like, an original track put it there. Like, especially because the lyrics of the main theme do not really fit what's happening right now. I guess Kojima just feels like it's for the same reason, too, that to play Snake Eater in that one final boss battle from 4, because Kojima knows that he has an amazing track, so he, he, he plays oh, okay. it. <laughs> I, I get what you mean, but I want to discuss later. But what I was saying before also is that, remember, as we mentioned, apparently Kojima originally wanted the fight against the end to last for like three weeks in yeah. real time. And I don't even know how that would have worked out, to be honest. But even so, the normal fight can even be customized. You know, you win, you can sneak up behind him and get his camo. Um, you can kill his parrot and eat it, and that would piss him off, actually. Yep. Um, you can actually trust it out. Oh. Both with the parrot and actually seeing the lens of his sniper rifle, like, you know, our true sniper fight. Oh, there we are. And then Snake dropped down immediately. Ah! <laughs> that happened in Max Rose video. Uh, <laughs> but oh, yeah, yeah too. Okay, a lot. Go on. My personal take is like, Kojima, in his usual cheeky Kojima self, wanted to put a spin on, you know, a moment where a lot of people had grown at, like, you know, having to do this long-ass sequence. But what, he's, he, what he does is put a spin on it by literally awkwardly and out of nowhere putting in the Those late motif of Crosno the game, the mm -hmm. Snake Eater. I'll admit, as a kid, I used to the think that the lyrics were actually talking about climbing at some point. It does mention at some point, uh, you the know, um, at some point, if I recall correctly, climbing trees or something, but... Uh, everywhere. It's literally an impenetrable wall. Proceed with caution. Sounds like fun. Oh, there's a provision storehouse in the hillside area, and there's an armory at the summit. So I'll we can stock up. At the top of the yeah. mountains. The summit is still a ways up. Keep going forward. Oh god, another ladder. <laughs> but yeah, in regards to how Konami have changed, one thing I do know for certain that caused a lot of their jackassery back in the day was that they had gotten a new leader. One who was all for, at the time, the growing mobile and pachinko phase. Yeah. A phase that I am glad has petered out. Well, Actually, thanks to COVID, but yeah, yeah. the pandemic yeah. played a factor. No, really. no, no, that's the thing. Like uh, a lot of people like to even sometimes even just ignore or forget. No, no, no. Like, see, I was there following all that shit. Like Konami, oh, literally, Konami literally, literally wouldn't even allow its the employees to go to the bathroom. They were literally treating them like fucking slaves. Jesus. Yeah, now I, how think, much I think the the only reason why Blizzard was a worse environment because is because they had the Cosby suit, but otherwise they were pretty much on par. Now, okay, okay, okay. now, how bad Konami were? Uh, uh, okay, 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 you know, not how bad they were, but for how long they were doing this, I do wonder. Yeah, like, I don't know. yeah. Konami There's a does... lot of if the walls could talk, it's a little a situation like that. And for all we know, it's something that could still happen in all of other different environments that we really don't know about. One That's thing the I scary part. Is, part of me does wonder if a lot of this stuff started and ended with the presence of that president who made a lot of the dumb changes to Konami at the time. Now, I don't even know if he's still in charge. If he is, then I would imagine he did a lot of soul-searching because... Again, I was there at the time. You know how Microsoft were that team everyone hated with the original mm -hmm. Xbox One? Well, Konami got that and then some. Yeah. Like, pretty much everyone I... was against them. It was to a point where it was morally adept to be against let me, uh, Konami. Let, let, me, let, me, let me put things in perspective real quick. Uh, you know Yoshiwada, the guy who was the president of Square during the 20, most of the 2010s, who, uh, who basically ruined the reputation of, that, of Square Enix into the ground with, you know, by allowing a lot of stupid shit to happen. Like, uh, um, back when Kona the, the whole Konami thing was going on, Yoshiwada himself, by this point he, he already had left Square, Yoshiwada even said that it made no sense in an interview, that it made no sense the way Konami was handling things because you're literally going out of your way to make people hate you. And it, 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 it baffles me why you're doing Keep in mind, this is the guy. Yoshi when Yoshi fucking Wada is telling you how to run your company, you have an issue. <laughs> Just to recap what Konami were doing, there was the terrible stuff with their devs, but what were they doing for the fans? Well, they were cancelling games left and right, 
remanding them to either mobile or pachinko titles. Oh, and yeah, Metal Gear, pro quite possibly their mascot franchise. Metal Gear Survive. Enough said. <laughs> well, 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 I think Donkey put it best in his video from back in the day. Like, uh, well, it's okay, so they've got the Fox engine. How bad can it be? Just slap a new map on it and treat it like a Assassin's Creed. How bad can it be, right? Nope. No, too too much work. Have a game where you just poke zombies in, uh, with a stick, dumbass. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> and uh, to say to say nothing of um, e football. <laughs> <laughs> not, oh, not, right. not to that mention, not to mention, make the game as humanly annoying and irritating as possible. Think, picture this, Shiroi, a game where every single, you have, there's this little meter of fluids in fluids and hunger meter, and they rule out very quickly, and every time you, 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 you run out of, you know, like your hunger meter eight reaches the top, or, you're, or you run out of fluids, the, there's a vo an annoying voice keep, uh, keeps telling you, pay attention to your fluid intakes, pay attention to your fluid intakes, pay attention to your hunger, pay and it's just constant voice nagging at your ears until you finally consume you some... Chatter? Yeah, uh, it's... Cool. <laughs> to any casual players, I assure you, Metal Gear Survive <laughs> is that game. It has a zombie Metal Gear, and they managed to screw that up. Also, yeah, the game where they made you buy extra save files, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you want to yeah. say you have to have more than one save really slot? Really pay up. up. Much earlier on, but yes. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ. Can I put it like this, Ray? Metal Gear Survive is the boogeyman of the Metal Gear franchise. Oh, I remember like, it coming out. It was like a complete laughing stuff. There it is. Um, well, it's pretty much like, it's pretty much clear that during those years. Uh, uh, the Yu-Gi-Oh! licensed IP basically carried over the company for most of them because uh, despite it probably was the one that was treated the best out of all of them. That's because Kazuki Takahashi, despite his flaws, is a guy who does for the most part was a try class. to please his... Well, mm -hmm. did try to please his... Wait, did Kazuki Takahashi do anything so, bad? Well, he was alive that I don't know. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. He didn't do anything bad, but he did make Zexel. Well, oh, oh, okay, 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 sure. Uh, that, trust, tr trust me, I still resent him for that, but sure, that's I okay. <laughs> I can tell you for a fact two things. One, Takahashi is more of a yes man when it came to the creation stuff, and yeah. later he does the manga adaptation, you know, of he did the manga adaptation thing. Two, the manga was actually is much, much better than the anime. It's still not that great overall, but it's actually better than the anime, I can assure you that. So, and was it a case where a the anime he, kind of he... screwed with his vision? Well, no, Joe, but remember, the anime was done in first. Like I said, it was just on the SM and approving stuff. Mm -hmm. and, okay, well. and occasionally also for the car design. Well, this is why I said, like, in spite of his flaws, because now I definitely recognize him more for the good than the bad, honestly. Sure. But, um... Well, whatever, go on. No, um, no, I'm... But, yeah, no, um, I do honestly wonder, um, do we have any word on the uh, the leadership of Konami currently at the we moment? We don't know, and again, to to go from what you said before, Drova, again, Change of Art might be one case, and ironically enough, a title of a Yu-Gi-Oh card, you know, ah. but uh, the more logical thing is that it's still more of a case of company wanting money. Yeah. What I would say, instead of act actually, you know, blindly shouting at the wind, companies are, are evil anyway. Not to mention... Well, oh, oh, I mean, ever since... Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, let's let you finish. Hmm? Will be a case of, yeah, well, at the very least, I will take, uh, you know, a company that is blatantly still greed, uh, but at the very least release products that, you know, contribute uh, a bit better towards the, uh, are a bit beneficial to the community, in this case, gaming preservation, you know, rather than just doing nothing or a different green material that helps no one. Like, if you want to be greed, at least be helpful in some way, and that's what Konami is doing, which yeah. is fine by me. Go I on, will give them credit, they did bring back Bomberman, back from the dead. Yeah, that I was, was gonna nice say, ever since, um, ever since Super Bomberman R in 2017, um, I think that was the stage when Konami realized, um, you know, maybe, maybe making um, that might help us out, and, um, well, there's been all sorts. Um, as recently as this past April, they opened a new um, development studio in Osaka. Yeah. Where, that, that... Um, where, where it's, where it's basically, um, basically, that's basically going to be an extra pair of hands for their games over the next. Uh, basically. Years. Basically, apparently they're operating now on the similar way that Concept was operating before it was bought up by Level Five, where uh, 
they have an internal development team, but that development team is mostly does the creative part, whereas Virtuous Studios is the one doing the actual heavy lifting of the of the remix development. Which is more of a support. It's weird because if you check their website, they are more of a support team in general that uh, mm -hmm. manages to polish out the graphical stuff, like with the Callisto protocol. Oh well, yeah, this so, is this is like their note. first big rodeo, basically. So on that note, guys, do we think eventually, you know, okay. Maybe they'll make, like, you know, a Metal Gear Solid remake or two, you know, I mean, they're obviously remaking three, but let's assume they might re-remake some others. Well, actually, Jova, we have confirmation uh, from, the, they, we've said, they've said recently that, uh, I think it was like yesterday, that uh, if, the, if the Snake Eater remake is successful, then they are indeed considering making, remaking more games, so probably the first game will, will follow up next. Okay, I also wonder if eventually they're going to remake, you know, Metal Gear 1 and 2, if only yeah. again, to emphasize the point of that one new plot detail we have thanks to Phantom Pain about what was going on with Big yes. Boss in the first Metal Gear game and, you know, how the heck he survived, you know, death to come back yeah, in Metal yeah. Gear 2. Well, Hopefully. You know, he clearly became a cyborg. That was an extra revenge. Yeah, that's the extra revenge. <laughs> But, um, Can you imagine a remake of Snake's Revenge? I mean, considering th that uh, Acid, uh, Ghost Babel are technically alternate continuities, uh, you know, they they could just do a Crisis on EP Metal Gears and save that. Yeah, basically. They're all, they're all kind of in a multiverse or something. But Metal yeah. Gear, no way home. But yeah, that's the, that, that's the gist of it, Shiroi. That Metal Gear Survive is a game that is intentionally made to be as annoying and as irritating as possible to make sure you buy any possible uh, DLC add-ons that shut up the fucking voice or make or, or make you have more tolerance to hunger or thirst. Like you want to actually, you want to you want to not be annoyed to death. Pay some extra money. <laughs> like, oh boy. Yeah, you um, want to also be spotted by the helicopter. Yeah. But yeah, but yeah, where my question was actually going was, do you guys think eventually Konami might actually work up the nerve to try and make a whole brand new Metal Gear title at some Possible. point? Possible. Possible. See, I still, I still want Maybe. that game set between 2 and 4 where Raiden rescued Olga's child. Yeah, same. Because that's the, that's the one general plot point of... Uh, of the chronology before what happened with Five, mind you. Plus, I um, really wish we could, we were able yeah, to play in some capacity. See the sad so, part. Uh, go on. I, I will say, I will say, in a way, you know, uh, discounting survive. Um, I am interested to see uh, what a entirely brand new creative team could do with Metal Gear because we had like, because after like nearly over like over nearly thirty years of. Um, of uh, Kojima raid MGS games, um, having a new pair of hands um, actually actually sounds pretty interesting. Oh yeah, it we does. We have technically but... had some Metal Gear games done without him, but I think those yeah, were done like, like different. Babel. Or Acid, but I think those. But okay, to be fair, Acid and Babel are done in different gameplay oh, sure. styles. And different it's one of those things. Anyway. Uh, for me, it's one of those things where I'll give it a chance, but I but I will keep myself cautious after. It would be like if be like if somebody else made a latent game that's not he know. Like it just doesn't it just f doesn't feel right, you know. Um, I'm cautiously optimistic about the Snake Eater remake. Like, granted, okay. That CGI trailer will look good. We have seen also some screenshots, Joy, in case you're wondering to see actual game. Some screenshots of the backgrounds, yeah. And th people make comparison, and again, as we, we noticed and we not, as we speculated, it seems that at least on a level design, we are going at least for a one to one. Also, so, so does this mean I'm gonna be able to see that amazing cutscene of Big Boss walking around with with the end exploding right behind him in glorious 4K 60 FPS? Probably. Awesome That's then. Yeah. There you go, Shiwa. We'll, 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 we're going to have, be able to see that scene in glorious HD. <laughs> like, I wonder, but, in the remake, are you actually going to show off the end fight? But uh, We'll see. We'll see how things go. Um, but honestly, Java, to go for what you said before as well... Yeah, Peter, I think you should have just stayed put until the alarm went off. Um, but uh, the, the, doing what you said before, Java, I honestly feel it's more likely to me that if the, the remake of 3 is successful, the one that they probably tackled the most next will probably be 4. Not necessarily 4 a plot, 
nel big plot change but because again some lines of dialogue specifically refers to the blu-ray and ps3 yeah them. not to mention so the ipod to see that the, at the root would be essentially making a bit of a graphical overall better performance you know reworking a couple of the lines and potentially adding yeah. a few set pieces that know, reminds me by the way it works for everyone what is that the game like rising for example just needs a simple remaster with all the scenes included wouldn't that be a funny order of them remaking stuff? Okay, first we've remade 3, then we'll remake 4, then we'll remake 1, then we'll remake Metal Gear 1 Well, Metal there Gear is something 2. we haven't mentioned, Jova. Again, it's a, unlike we did, well, not anything unlike, but, you know, um, Konami at the very least had the decency to simultaneously, you know, announce as well that the set of original games are being ported onto modern system at the very least on True. the ps5 i think it's also on the psc but i'm not entirely sure see the I... we'll have to see in time so at the very least you know people who are not caught up you know can at least catch up on previous titles which is more that can be said for a couple of you know games that got bored recently like they're in the middle of a series or something yeah and then um, you mentioned that those collections will also include the first two metal gear games that's because two and three are based on the the, the yeah, they're presented on remasters, the basically. That actually segues into what I was about to say. Um, basically, Shiroi, aside from uh, the remake, we're also going to get a, the Metal Gear Solid Master Collection Volume One. By Volume One, I mean it includes. Yeah. By Volume One, I mean it includes Metal Gear Solid One, Metal Gear Solid Two, and Metal Gear Solid Three. And since the the, the versions of Two and Three that are going to be in, are the Blue Point remasters, uh, fr that means that Three will also have. The Metal Gear 1 and Metal Gear 2 included in its extras menu. Yeah, it's a slightly mm. more ambitious uh, case of what they did with the collection of their previous title, Grad Gradius, Castlevania. And, but I love. Um, they're also including. Oh, they're also including Metal Gear Solid 1 and Metal Gear Solid VR missions. Well, yeah, what, make, what makes sense? Every release of that game has always done that, so that's not really. Uh, and again, um, if, we, if, if the their behavior is anything to go by what they did to Castlevania, which eventually got a collection just for some, unfortunately, some all of them, but some of the portable titles. It's safe to assume a volume two will probably be mostly just the portable. I am. Titles, like Peace Walker. I am, however. For now, I'm going to stick with the versions I already have until further notice, because, Shiroi, uh, in the description for the collection, they did mention that there's going to be some minor edits, quote-unquote, to remove copyrighted stuff. Meaning, the li you know the those bits where we see live-action footage in these games? That shit's copyrighted, and recently, the HD collection from 2011 was removed from stores because the copyrights that Konami had for those um, expired. Those, so most likely they're going to reacquire them, or they no, apparently okay. Scenes, That's the thing. Or... We don't know yet. They say there's going to be minor edits. We, what that entails, we don't know. My guess is they're just going to rid themselves of the problem completely and just remove the live action footage altogether, just to make sure they don't have to renew it again. But again, I'm just I'm going to keep my expectations low. Something given a Especially lot of the voiceover. Uh, you know, so, so for now, I'm going to stick with my versions I already have in case because I because I want the the games as uh, the, those cutscenes properly as they were intended. Go on. And it's not even just the blue point version. Remember the versions that were G on GOG, which were basically pretty much original, were moved were delisted also for the same exact reason. So it wasn't really a case also of anything that Bluepoint indeed made, it was just a thing that, you know, about uh, no, no, no. footage of historical figures and events. I, I will say this, though. I do imagine that if they do have to remove those, that they would at least have something to replace them, and hopefully something that, you know, just, doesn't again, feel just inferior. What specifically could it be? Because the stuff footage used, at least for three at the very least, is mostly about the Soviets and stuff. Uh, like, sure, occasionally there is a, a shot of... Uh, um, I forgot what the president, American president was around this time, you know. But um, it's mostly about the stuff that the Soviets did. Um, and instead, two. I forgot what stuff footage two had. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, I saw for the the white the white two K event too. Remember when when Emma, when Emma, when Emma is, I, I, I didn't even know that could be potentially copyrighted. Well, like, remember, Tail, um, most of this footage was recorded by some professional company that then received the footage as their I own. I did not keep track of this. Um, Sorry. 
Um, um, but, that, that uh, it's important to remember, though, that it's quote-unquote volume one. By vol if there's yeah. a volume one, that means we're gonna. So most likely, she like, volume two will include Metal Gear Solid Four, Metal Gear Solid Peace Walker, and probably also Metal Gear Rising. There's no need to re-release five because that game is still available on modern systems. So. Well, some people do think that five could be included in a. And honestly, no, no, no. Again, I'm mostly thinking Vol Two is mostly gonna be portable themed, and when it comes to Four and Rising, they're gonna be separate yeah. releases. I mean, personally, I would rather them use Volume Two to re-release the other mainline games that are not available in current systems, because Five right now should be low priority on that regard, because Five is available on PS4 and Xbox One, which makes it available on PS5 and Series X, and okay. it's also on Steam, so everybody can get it. There is one way I could see them justifying a remake of 5 as soon as it is. And that being one that does essentially what fans have wanted Crash to Insanity to do. Remake Metal Gear Solid 5, but this time with the whole plot intact, including that entire third of the game that's missing. Mm -hmm, that would be nice, but I'm not holding my breath. Um, yeah, right now... That does... Right now what I want for Volume 2 is Metal Gear Rising, because that game... Uh, Console-wise, it's still stuck on the PS3 and 360. Uh, it's on Steam, yeah, but console gamers don't exactly have a, an easy way to get it. That Peace Walker PC HD, like yeah, Peace Walker HD, and of course Metal Gear Solid 4. Oh, that does make me All wonder. All right, here we go. Oh, I'll ask you later. Yeah, we need to meet up with Eva. Eva, actually, too. Eva. Yeah, Eva. <laughs> Of course. Why is it that every time we meet, you seem like you're taking your clothes off? And of course, the saxophone. I love how I love how embarrassed I love how embarrassed he is by, by saying I, this. Once again, this Boca Factor is the one for the military scene. So. I swear, it feels like she plans these. Okay, to her credit, she was just, remember switching from the outfit she was using. Or we saw earlier, so. Yeah, like we mentioned, Volgin is, is the, the ugly bastard. Though. Yeah. You better have this little listing device in there. What's that? You're a traitor? Thank you very much for telling me. Zap! Well, it is the 60s, so they would need to have some super advanced technology. You got cars? I got cars too! <laughs> Where'd you get this one? I got it after defecting to the Soviet Union. I don't think so. It's older than that. Mm -mm. Code breaking is a desk job. Oh, you're an expert on this. Well, actually, she okay, right, he yeah, is, yeah, actually. Military job, yeah, with military job, at least you will get at least an eye of how long the yeah. duration of a scar is. Remember, she right, he was trained to also heal himself with medical with medical devices and shit, so... Nah, he just wants a closer <laughs> look. <laughs> that too, man. Shira, Shira, Shira. They can both be true. Yes, the, both these statements can exist. Exactly. Mm -hmm. The colonel is gathering his troops together to meet them. Oh. If we don't get a move on, the security will be even tighter than it is now. At least he's trying to be a gentleman. You'll need this key. It unlocks the door to the underground tunnel. Once you're in there, Did you can got these silent the silent inside Groznygrad. Uh -huh. Better take these two. They should come in handy. You can find room on your belt for that. Rations, uh, well, Eastern noodle rations. Uh. And Japanese what food. The food of the future, a well-balanced meal for the space age. It's good to eat some real. I'm sure Gumshoe would agree. Mm, let's take wow, a look. You can say that without moving your mouth. Amazing. <laughs> we mentioned that the lip syncing is not always one hundred percent. Except to the Japanese audio. Oh my god! It should be expected. <laughs> Oh god, she wants to eat him. It gets better <laughs> later on, Drovo. <laughs> oh, I know! I know! So she's the snake eater. Again, yes, she's that ready she mind, Shiroi. <coughs> she eats his solid snake. Then there's the main wing where the weapons are assembled. The west wing, on the other hand, is forbidden. Do not go there. As you will. Aaron Sorkin lives there. Oh, that's exactly where we need to go, then. Just like Beauty and the Beast. Let me get this down. Wait, I missed... Sorry, I missed one. Can you start that again? 
Oh, sorry, right. Eva, we need a magical GPS. To That's okay, Dwebs, you can always check the map for where X marks the spot. So. If only GPSs were created in the 60s. Here. Oh, wait. Look at this picture. Major Ivan Ryden and it's Rykov. <laughs> yeah, we'll get to that. Ivan? I'll, I'll repeat that name for you, Shiro. Ivan Rydenov. There you go. Off. There he is. Hi, Ryden. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, Shiro, this was back when. Basically, Shiro, this was back when Ryden ba Backlash was at its apex. So, Kojima decided to um, do some. Uh, like, take, take a jab at the character. Um, and spoilers, this game is not very gentle in doing does it. Does he so. have a. Does he have a voice? Uh, yes, no, but it's not, uh, Quentin not, Flynn. It's not Quentin Flynn, no. But, but uh, I supposed to yeah, I forgot. To get so glob out of there. That's a good question. Command said you're supposed to have something ready for me. And I do. There's a lake 30 miles north of here. Take a shower. A wig? It's a state-of-the-art ground effect vehicle. Oh, I ground thought you meant, to. Uh, yeah. A cosplay yeah, wig? <laughs> with acronyms, you should go with the initial W I G. Yep. Yeah. Taking off from a lake is trickier than it looks. Wankers Instagram. Got to be more delicate. Grab the I don't know. <laughs> uh. Yeah, we have actually. Uh. Mom. Hmm. Right. You handle the escape, then. I'll head for Groznikrad. Wait a minute. There's something I wanted to ask you. What? Wow. What's the story between you and the boss? Complicated. Like He's digging into whose personal affairs now? And your lover? Ah, no! Know. That's his mother figure, Eva, please! As usual, J Mom's Japan boss. Japan loves to imply incest all over the place. Okay, to be fair, I that's not what Snake is saying. To be fair. No, no, no. But no. I, I'm, I, it's more of a case. Neither is what happened with Tanki with Zeno Gears, but it's more of a case of having a gig go on that. You bet. For ten years, we lived and died together. You couldn't possibly understand. Wait, how did you die if you still. <laughs> she, he doesn't mean that literally, Glebs. It's. Dying inside and all. Dying inside. Live by the sword, die by the sword. You know what this also reminds me of, Dwebs? The whole, Trevelyan, Trevelyan was your friend, and now you're going to kill him. From GoldenEye. So, yeah, they're very reminiscent of it, yeah. yeah. Better music, thank god. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been interested in other people's lives. God is so cool. Complete with the late motif playing and everything. Yeah, no, it's more the, sh the, the no. shadow of the hedgehog. Like you I'm can't... not interested in other people. You can't go wrong with Harry Gregson. <laughs> you can't. You can't go wrong with Harry's work on MG on the MGS series. If it's part of the mission. Yeah, if I am, um, if I made an Metal Gear Solid yeah. game, I would just have Snake, whoever the main character is, hear the music while they're talking and be like, um, she <laughs> keeps oh, doing it. On. She's thirsty as fuck. Mm. Is that what Eve is that is Eva a foreign word uh, for thirsty? Sneaky okay. good. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Uh that's one thing the remake will be able to fix is actually having her mouth connect with him instead of making it look like she's trying <laughs> to. To be fair, her PS2 her games, you know, this was still a bit tough to pull off. So. Well that's what Jova just said essentially. Yeah. Like I said, the embarrassment, uh, the 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 embarrassment was because again, Kojima's wish to the like I said, back to for having a laugh. Like I said, friends. one of the yeah. things that I really like about the about the dynamic between these two is that it's uh, it's a reverse of the usual Bond Bond girl dynamic, where it's actually the Bond the Snake girl who's the more assertive one uh, compared to usually in Bond. It's Bond the one who's the more assertive one. Right. Guys, we put I... a do not disturb sign on the door for Christ's yeah. sake. It's Russia, yeah. Shiri, they don't really understand these. It actually, it's one of the big reasons, it's one of the big reasons why there's still a lot of people who don't care for, you know, the Bond series because they they consider Bond to be, a, you know, a sexist type of character. But uh, th this game actually um, escapes that because it, it poses the girl as the assertive one. I mean, isn't being... I think being 
sex is, is, is a part of his character. It's like his, one of his biggest flaws. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people even... Don't, even, don't even know about this, how much worse the source material was. I wouldn't say Bond himself is naturally sexist, like, for the most part. Okay, yes. He definitely can be a bit of a chauvinistic pig at times, but he seems to respect women Again, for the most least, part. At least in, in the, the at least in the movies. In the movies, and yeah, 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 yeah. don't books, try to kill it anyway. The books, yeah, the books are another story, but yeah, sneaking, oh, sneaking, sneaking. Uh, basically sneaking, sneaking, great. I hate yeah. you, barrels. I hate barrels. There we go. Uh, there we go, dwebs. Uh, Cloud hates boxes. Vulcan hates barrels. <laughs> anyway, yeah. Uh, Coming up well, next, uh, Silas, maybe it's coming not up. necessarily just an empty barrel. Coming up, coming up next, Silas Snake hates pizza boxes because he can't get into those. What do you think you're in? Street Fighter? Konami did make a couple of Ninja Turtles. <laughs> yeah, there and there you go, he's actually punishing uh, Granarim for, uh, for, for, for Grand Coppler for giving us information. So, hey Ocelot. Ocelot, we don't have time for your bullshit. I'm sorry, too, but there's always time for us a lot. <laughs> ah, well, he's dead. Very Was painfully, too. Uh? Hmm. But. Uh, classic. Uh, of course. Microfilm this hiding and in the shoe. Transmitter? Exactly. Planted to keep someone informed of his location. <laughs> Yeah, even Ocelot, even Ocelot, right in my face. Like, even Ocelot, you like, pulled out and bullshit in my eyes. Yeah, even, yeah, even Ocelot's going, dude, uh, cut that shit out. That's another <laughs> thing that I, but we can hope the remake Mac makes it work better. Mm -hmm. I like how, as usual, Ocelot is the voice of reason. Well, again, that's his own character. Well, he starts very devoted to the Soviet Union, despite being basically a, cow a cowboy west taboo. But Morgan yeah. is essentially telling, showcasing to him that it's For reasons that I cannot explain yet, uh, Ocelot is a man of many faces. Oh, yeah. Um, uh, uh, Palpatine here, um, I swear his, his voice sounds a bit like if David Hayter voiced Snake if he was evil. <laughs> he means Vulgan. Yeah, Vulgan. Yeah. Now, so... Now, now young Snake. You will die. You know, we do technically have a game called Snake Tales. So... I love the, I love this um, split screen. Well, uh, well, to, like uh, he is a great director, so why not show it off? It's funny because again, I can I get reminded how people like Peter or Ang Lee tried to do that in the year two thousand and. Failed at it. Well, split screen. Well, here's the thing. Hulk 2004 isn't even technically doing split. It's more doing like a comic book vignette type of thing rather than actual split screen. Yeah, it just. And there's the boss uh, retrieving with the the the, the pains. And there she is again. The fear and the end have fallen. The fear your, fell your bravely. Your children suck, boss. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You have some yeah, serious yeah. anger issues, don't you, Vulcan? And again, he <laughs> takes it on to inanimate objects, sir. That leaves only the fury. I get the feeling... And well, remember, ta well, well, remember Teo. Well, remember Teo. Remember what we learned just now. Uh, now that Eva's back here, yeah, now he gets to lash out his anger well, at, in some money, so... He... Also, well, also um, not, that's well, not a weapon you want to twirl. But... Well, this, well, Mr. Sidious, uh, in, in, in the case of the end, Snake didn't really beat him, he just died. Mm -hmm. And again, spoilers, uh, the, the Fury is not exactly the most powerful of the members. Uh. The philosopher's legacy. Oh, <laughs> dramatic thunder. Yep. And it's not even from this guy. That's actually kind of a plot point. Borgin has control over electricity, but it's not like he controls the weather. Hmm. Skill issue. <laughs> Racial. Davy Crockett. She, uh, it's a, it's, it's a name of the weapon. That's the big me weapon MacGuffin of the yeah. game. Yeah, they call it David Crockett as a uh, homage to that. To him. <coughs> yeah, Kojima is doing the same thing Swery did with the um, with the whole you know um, American anthem uh, in, in Deadly uh, Premonition. Put it in there. Okay, Americans will get it. Also, <laughs> not something. Uh... 
You don't just sniff people. No, 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 that's a thing. Is she right? Perfume. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's pretty Snake, much quite so, also no song. Fish. Yeah, Oc Ocelot is not a moron, Shiroi. He can tell that there's something fishy about her. I mean, not for a woman here, oh, my dude. To, no, no, to me, it's more hilarious, Shiroi, the, the fact that what this cutscene basically tells is that because uh, Eva got close to Snake for kiss him, kissing him, Ocelot actually recognized the, the odor that Snake had. Yep. Because he was sniffing senpai. That's the thing. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, like that's a, exactly it, Shiroi. Uh, Masala is kind of... Oh, what you have here... Oh, <laughs> yeah. you're pretty good. Um, what you have here, Shiroi, is a human dog. <laughs> Damn. No, he's oh, just God. jealous. Oh, oh yes. Oh, guys, yes. Judge, Judge Gabranf did have a similar hair cut in face. Like I said, Shiroi, he's a dog in more ways than one. He also gets jealous when his master wow. hangs out with other, with other people. Snake is like, what yeah. the fuck are we doing? And meanwhile, Naked there? Snake is going like, great, after that session with Eva, now I gotta do this mission with a boner. Uh, no, we already done the fear. Uh, we already done the pain, boss fight. You've got the key from Eva. Now use Not to mention, the webs, you can always ask um, the Major uh, for a refresher of where you need to go anyway. So. The door to the underground tunnel is in the summit area. Hurry. So, I think I can understand why you chose to do the end the way you did this play first thing, is how... We had had previous sniper boss fights in games, I'm guessing for our overall playthroughs you wanted to put I mean, a spin on it with the end. It's also because it takes a long time to beat the end legit, so I wanted to, you know, like, um, not Back have it like a 50 minute part of nothing but me slowly- Oh god. Have you seen the movie Some people- Oh no. no, no, no. Some people have managed to beat the end in as little as 15 or 20 minutes. Oh sure. Um, but you know the ironic thing is that technically you did take the longer way to beat him when you think about it. Alright then. Yeah, well if you find any, don't eat them. Come on, they're not that bad for you. If you end up growing huge like that, you won't have any place left to hide. It's just like a girl gone. I guess, <laughs> but he could just, but he could just stomp on his enemies then. Yes. Uh, that would be, you know, again, we did get a giant kaiju in one of the snake tails. Indeed. Snake stomper. And, we'll, and while it's not technically a kaiju battle, you can also look forward to something akin to that in the next game. But uh, we'll get to that. Um, yeah, see you for the next part, everybody. Ta-ta.